child welcome back to my channel my name is Andrew Marie if you haven't been here before hi welcome my video today is going to be about pixie cut and how to maintain it as you guys know I had a hair transplant two years ago and I recently relaxed my hair and cut it back into a pixie cut so that's beside the point but I, I feel like it's now part of my channel to talk about my transplant and the various hairstyles I have after it and that they can be maintained in a healthy way. If you're new to a pixie cut and you just don't know what to do or you're doing research about a pixie cut, this video will help you with five tips on how to maintain it. To get it out of the way, first things first, you need to get a pixie cut that you think you are going to make, be able to maintain well. If you're hair savvy, you know a little bit about hair, you know how to maintain your hair a little bit, I think you can probably go for either a longer pixie cut or a super short cropped pixie cut like myself. These are super easy to maintain and um, the longer pixie cut also gives you something to hide behind if you're having a bad, a bad hair day. This one not so much but it is really really important that you look for a hairstyle that suits you and you think will suit you and will be manageable for you. Have your hairdresser discuss these options for you and yeah I hope that little nugget helps. Now let's get into those five tips. Tip number one, you're gonna need a really good wax. Now, the one that I have, I have two that I play around with. The first one is the Kerry Care Wax, because it's the ultimate favorite one of mine. You probably see me use it in all of my shorts and my reels and my day-to-day -day life in the salon. It's quite a thick one, um, so a little goes a long way, and I normally only really say to use it on the first day. Now, wax, the really good thing about wax is you can maintain your sideburns. See these, these little bad boys right here? wax helps you maintain it and also the back the back can get really flicky really irritating um and wax is just one of those ways to get to get it sorted i also have another one here by even um which is really really good again this one is a lot more lightweight i know it's mainly used um for wigs but it's a lot more lightweight it smells gorgeous and again you can just dab it on the sides brush them in it's not as heavy as the care care wax stick so it's also an alternative one this is superb for those that want to just maintain the sides because that's what it is with a pixie cut you need to maintain your sides if these parts are not maintained and laying flat oh it's actually a mess <laughs> wax is also amazing if you are not the sort of person that wants a pixie cut that's full of pin curls you can use it to set your pin curls so i normally rub it all over the hair and i just give my pin curls a little bounce on wash day and that helps it keep them in place. Or if you wanna add a little bit of texture to your hair, wax is it. I normally rub it in my on the tips of my fingers and I move it in my hair and this is how I end up with the look that I have. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with a fresh wash today so it looks the way it looks, but on day five, six, seven, if I feel like my hair is just not looking like it should and I need to go to work, wax is what I use. Tip number two, foam. Foam is your best friend when it comes to a pixie cut. It helps you set the hair. Um, there are so many different foams out there. I know Nairobi is a great foam. My ultimate favourite is a firm style foam, style foam wrap. It's my absolute favourite. A third in line is actually the Kerry Care Foam Wrap Set Lotion. It's available in the UK. You can get it anywhere hair shops online definitely a favorite of mine i think they have the foam wrap set lotion and they also have a firm hold one so depending on how you like your hair set i normally like a firm hold when i have um more regrowth when my hair's freshly relaxed a soft hold foam wrap is normally what i go for so something like nairobi which has a bit of stickiness to it is great for those end of you know coming up to a relaxer day or even if you don't have a relaxer day but you've got quite curly hair and you need to set your hair in a certain way the stickier um foams tend to help your hair stay set so you can use a brush to kind of set them in place and your hair will stay like that if you um wrap it with heat and the softer hold sets they just help your hair have more movement so it just depends on what kind of finish you like I like a light, I like a light sort of finish, so definitely foam wraps that set well, but have enough hold that you don't lose the style too quickly, 
but not so much that it's sticky. I don't really like sticky hair. So if I'm using something like Nairobi or something that has a firmer hold, I tend to use less of it. I love to team up my foam wrap with a foam pomade. And again, this is great for molding your hair and adding shine to it. If you're the kind of person who doesn't like to overdo it with you know products at the end if you team up a foam wrap with a bit of the um, Paul Mitchell foaming pomade what happens is you don't really need to pour anything in your hair after because this is quite a heavy product one little drop goes a long way depending on what you're trying to achieve if you've got finer hair one drop is enough if you've got thicker hair you can use a little bit more but again if you overuse this product it will be too sticky and it'll just be a mess you'll need to reset now the reason why I like foam is because it's a great reset. So if you've gone into the shower and your edges are wild, if you've gone to the gym, you don't always need to rewash your hair. A tiny bit of foam, and when I say tiny, I mean you take your foam and you use about that much. Now I normally use this at the back of my head and I dab with my finger and I put it at the back of my head, I use my bristle brush and I just brush it down. Sometimes I do this just before going to bed and then in the morning I might use the wax just to make sure that it's laying down properly. Now this little nugget has been the best thing ever because it means that I can reset without having to wash. Sometimes you've had a bad night's sleep and you know your edges are looking crazy. You don't always need to straighten it. So heatless, heatless ways to reset your hair without it looking crazy. Just before I go into the shower, I pop a little bit of foam and I add it to my edges. Sometimes I might just use this by itself because it's a little bit heavier. Sometimes I might use this because I want a lighter finish. Depends on what you like. Brush them out, put my head scarf on, shower, come back, Within about five, 10 minutes, it's set. It's set back to normal and you can continue as you were. Hope that tip helps. <laughs> Number three, the way you set your hair when you wash is extremely important. I'm gonna have a little video on the side of how I think you should set your hair. I've done a video on this. I think it's in the shorts and it's super, super easy. What I normally say is put your finger in the middle of your head, so in your crown area, and brush everything in a direction going forward. And then you can do finger waves if you want, you can do whatever, but if you do that and then finish off with a bristle brush, you will have a good, simple wrap. It doesn't have to be anything major. Then you make sure that you have your wrapping strips. Those are great. You can buy the paper ones or if you have a mesh wrap or something that is shaped like this. Something shaped like this. For me, this is my silk Maison Star one. Um, I'll be releasing them again soon. We've sold out of the original ones. These are great. This is what I use every single day. You can see it's a bit beaten up. I've got about four of these. And you can use the mesh ones which have like little holes in them. I prefer silk or satin ones just because I feel like my hair doesn't feel rough in the morning. Sometimes if you don't have the right material with the mesh wraps, it can leave your hair feeling a bit rough. So the softer touch ones are the ones I normally like. And um, you dry it. Now, tip on drying um, that you might want to consider if you are like me and don't have enough space to have a big hood dryer in your house or you don't want to be sitting there all day with the blow dryer on your head is a plug-in soft hood dryer which I'll bring in. So I have a plug-in soft hood dryer. I hope you can see it's shaped like this and all I do is plug it in and turn it on when I'm wrapped and it blows up into a little hood dryer which I place on my head and then after that I just wrap it back up and pack it away. It dries my hair within half an hour, sometimes even 15 minutes. My hair is super short at the moment so I don't need too much under the dryer. It's got two control sets and it doesn't burn my ears. If you have sensitive ears I suggest you get some silicone ear covers then your hair, your ears won't burn while you're drying your hair. And again, I found that I found this on Amazon. Um, I will put a link below so that you guys can access it. Last but not least is sideburn control. <laughs> sideburn control is a real thing. So these get out of hand. They start sort of fraying after a couple of days, especially if you've gone and had a shower. So my tip to you, get a brush, a bristle brush. Tuck behind your ear. 
this is where the wax comes into play now just before I'm going to get in the shower I normally brush these behind my ear like this and then I wrap my hair obviously in this wrapping motion I wrap my hair so that my sideburns are not on show once I finish having my shower I apply a little bit of wax to make sure that they're still tamed don't do this every morning and then my sideburns are back to normal that's what I do apply a little wax comb it comb it backwards behind your ear tuck them depending on how long your sideburns are even if they're not that long brush it backwards and put your headscarf on um, another tip that I do as well I don't always I've always done this but I don't wash my face in the shower I wash my face separately I normally wash my face when I'm brushing my teeth um, and I and I do it without my headscarf or anything I just sort of do that and then I wrap my hair to shower and um, it's just the simplest way that I've always done it I've done it like for years and years so it's it's never really been a problem um, for me to shower with my headscarf because I just don't wash my face but the steam from the shower can really raise those sideburns so I don't know how you guys shower but um, I might like dab a little bit of water just because you know you get involved with the shower but apart from that I don't necessarily wash my face in the shower I wash it separately I do it all when I'm brushing my teeth and all of that stuff so because my, my skincare needs to be done in a certain way so that's why I do it separately and that takes five minutes in itself the last tip that I'm going to share is how you wrap your hair at night will determine how you wake up in the morning now everybody has a way that works for them. Personally, I like to double wrap. So the first thing I do is I put a side parting into my hair. I brush all my hair off my face and then I put my first wrap on my head and then I get my second head scarf. how I wrap my hair at night now if you are the type of person who feels like all your head scarf when you wake up in the morning they're gone or they're loose I'm quite a good sleeper my head scarf stays exactly where it is I'm not a rough sleeper but if you are or you feel like this doesn't work for you a do-rag will also help because it helps keep your hair in the same place if you can get a satin do-rag if you can get a silk do-rag but let it be something that's going to keep your hair in place now again even if i was i do have do-rags as well by the way but even if i was when i use a do-rag i still double wrap it's just the way that i do things and when i'm going if i'm doing workouts i double wrap everything when i'm doing anything that's going to make my hair sweat or come out of come out of its style i always double wrap it's just the way it is if i do a gym set i might use a what do I normally use a sweat band because it soaks up the sweat but I'm not a sweater so if you are a sweater I'm happy to give you some tips in the comments if that would help but this is how I go to bed and then I also have a silk pillow because I feel like it's really great for my skin and then when you wake up in the morning I normally use my fingers mess it all up and I'm back in action um, another thing that I want to mention is you want to make sure that your pixie cut is not too forward when you're putting your headscarf on so everything sort of has to be out of the way so it it has to be yeah just out of the way and I probably will show you in the video but having your hair set in a certain way and then putting a headscarf on it will only lead to kinks so you have to set your hair for bedtime and then wrap your hair does that make any sense i hope these tips have helped and let me know if you like any more tips on pixie cuts or if you like a routine from beginning to end i probably will film one anyway because you know tips and tricks at home tips and tricks are always so helpful when you have a visual thanks for watching as always okay bye